Hey guys, and welcome to the historical battles and campaigns of medieval Total War. We're going to be starting off with the Battle of Bannockburn in 1314, playing as Robert the Bruce for Scotland against King Edward II of England. Now, as always, if you just want to get straight to the battle, do check the description. I always put a timestamp in for battles, as well as any cinematics that may show up throughout these campaigns. Without further ado, let's learn some history. In 1290, Edward I of England proclaimed himself the Overlord of Scotland, much to the annoyance of the Scots. For the rest of his life, Scottish entanglements dragged Edward's armies into Scotland. Scotland was occupied, but never pacified. In 1306, a new claimant to the Scottish throne, Robert the Bruce, emerged and challenged the English once again. He murdered a rival, seized the crown, and then faced the problem of English garrisons throughout Scotland. His early campaigns ended in failure and semi-exile, but he was hugely helped by the death of Edward I. The new King of England, Edward II, was not a military, political, or any other kind of genius. In 1313, Robert's armies captured Perth, and in 1314, Edinburgh fell. But the key frontation came at Bannockburn. As Edward II led an army to relieve the siege of Stirling, Robert's forces had surrounded the English garrison in the town and were effectively starving them out. Robert the Bruce chose not to let Edward through, but to attack. Even though he was outnumbered and the English were mounted, his piked armed troops gave him the advantage, as did the ground he chose. Edward II also helped Robert by running away and panicking his own army. The defeat of the English was total, and Edward was never able to challenge Robert's control of Scotland again. Bannockburn marked a change in English warfare, as lessons learned from the Scots were applied to English armies. It was the last time the English would field an army of predominantly mounted knights. From now on, they would fight on foot and this change would lead to many victories against the French in later wars. It wasn't until Edward II suffered a horrible and painful death on the orders of his wife, Isabella of France, and her lover, Roger Mortimer, that peace finally came. The new rulers of England and Robert signed the Treaty of Northampton in 1328. This recognized the fact of Scottish independence, a prize won at Bannockburn that was to last for 400 years. While well, our conditions are to win at Bannockburn, you must match the achievements of Robert the Bruce, forcing the English army to rout off the field, which will probably involve killing many of them. So you should also ensure that Robert survives and that your own forces do not run away. With peasants, okay, that doesn't matter. We have spears, though, and some clansmen. Interesting, no pikes. Right, let's do this, though. Game on. Right. Battle of Bannockburn, what we want to do is get in these trees post haste. We want the hill and we want the cover. Ideally, we actually would prefer the bridge. Much nicer place to fight all that cav. That's it. Slowly come along. But I hate trees. <laughs> Why are you making us do this game? Right, let's try and get as good a field of view as possible. And I want these chivalric knights all the way at the top keeping nice and safe
Well, this is clearly meant to be ridiculous. Look at all this cavalry. Feudal knights all the way across. Have they got an infantry? Men at arms, peasants, feudal men at arms. Got some crossbows at the back. Yeah. That's not good. Right, let's start getting our clansmen ready. Peasants, uh, you know what? You just show up to die instead of other soldiers. Uh, <laughs> if it works, it works, don't complain. It looks like they're going in with their normal unit, so actually we're going to want clansmen up, wherever they are. Here they come. Right. Everyone is engaged except our general. King with the second unit right there. Do want to engage them pretty soon. Okay, so it's starting to break some of them. Don't want to run away from them. Don't want to waste our general. Particularly, I think we have to. We'll have to go and charge these in. The enemy general is dead. Excellent. But I don't think ours is long for it. Yeah, we're basically just relying that with their enemy gen general dead, spears on them. Clansmen, pull them up. Peasantry, come get stuck in. Alright, they're running away. Turn around. Go help them. get a solid charge in because these spears are not going to hold it kind of did all right <laughs> not really you guys come on back run away you're actually gonna get minced yeah there irresistible charge Yeah, they're going to be breaking and then coming back. And that's where the issue starts to come in. Yeah, because our general's now surrounded. Our spears need to get in help. Hopefully this can crack this unit. Evenly matched. Nope, not doing it. On, break them. We believe in you. As soon as this is dead, we need to get in on the others. No, I think that unit's gone. Farewell, spears. So they're all losing badly. Yeah. Cowards! Alright, you ran too far out. Guys, what are you doing? You're getting on those spears. 
as our glorious leader that is left of you. On awkward side charge in. They are really pushing units to the max of their ability here. They shouldn't really be doing this. Should have uh, should put them on hold position. Just held in the forest. Can't return any of them. Ooh, no, don't. Oh, darn it. Well, that was rally. Wow. That's all right. Oh, they're fighting. They're doing all right. They're losing badly. Beating the enemy. You guys, come on back in. Let's uh, send the king to bring him back. I think at this point we really need to be killing crossbows to loosen up or don't feudal men at arms are in there Let's just use whatever we have left we only need a few he's a great Scotsman they got this. That's right, you run away. Okay, we'll leave the spearmen. Don't even mind. Let's just surround this unit. Should be able to break it pretty quick while... Oi. Get back on killing them. They uh, finally disappear. Not quite. But victorious. We broke the English army, forced them to round. We made sure our enemy isn't routed or slaughtered. Your army, sorry. Protected Robert the Bruce. He survived. There you go, our first battle and our first victory. The medieval total war historical battles. Actually, a pretty hard one to be honest if we didn't have that hill we'd be dead we have to wait till next time for the battle of hastings 1066 the big battle after all till then as always lords and ladies peace out